I bought this snowboard. It's fairly old and uh, in my last snowboard trip I uh, actually broke it. So it's um, no good anymore. It's like uh, split here and you can see the bend uh, if you're looking for it on the other side. So I surely have to retire this because if you, I mean, it's the wrong size anyways. Yeah, it's way too short. It's like for someone who is 20 kilo less than me. And today I want to turn it into a shelf. A fairly simple one, actually. I want to use this and this piece of wood. Yeah, that's all there is I wanted to do. Just quickly want to show my idea and uh, hopefully it works. I'm not too sure. Um, deciding on maybe drilling these later on. So uh, yeah, we will see how that goes. First of all, board to the side. First one is, I'm gonna use this. I bought this a while ago for my room uh, that I still didn't finish. I didn't finish the videos, nor did I finish my room. And uh, yeah, that will be the first one, or first line to cut. And then just checking, I was just eyeing this, but uh, yeah, that works just just to confirm, I'm gonna just split this in this direction. And um, after that, I will trim parts for here, 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 and here out of this one, uh, screw them together, and use that to attach the board and this triangle to um, the wall. So now I just have to cut this and I didn't think about that. So uh, yeah, that didn't turn out too well. I mean, I uh, don't know how good the camera is picking this up. I didn't expect the cut to be perfect, but I didn't also expect it to go uh, yeah, that wrong. So I'm gonna try and maybe straighten it a little bit. Depending on how this sandpaper is working out for me. I mean, overall, it's not too bad. Uh, I can hide a lot of it in my uh, planned build because I one side will be covered up. That's it's like, it's not 80 grit, I think it could be 80 grit. Um, thanks to my former employer to uh, sponsor that unwillingly. But we all know how it works. Oh, there never would. would would have been a question about if I could have it or not, so I just didn't bother to ask. But uh, yeah, came in handy a lot. I mean, we're not looking for perfect. We are looking for secure enough to uh, hold up my camera gear. Okay, um, just really noticed. I did see it before, but I wasn't thinking about it. There is a small problem. I think I just removed it. Um, don't know if the camera got that. There, there. Uh, here are multiple. So, oh yeah, and then continuing just uh, over here, here. There, there, what the? I mean, I will build it, I, I will finish it because uh, I know you can get rid of them by different means. And I think some of it is heat. And if I place it near to my oven, oh, then I uh, think that will be all right. What's that? That's a hundred grid. Give it a little bit of fine. 
tuning. A little fine tuning just for smoothness. And uh, I'm ready for the next part actually. Okay, next step. Uh, I worked out this kind of nice wood we had lying around. Um, not sure from what it is. I think something like a bed frame. Um, so yeah, we will cut our next piece from it. Something like this. Um, and then actually next one there just to give it the stability it needs. So do I have uh well I have to do the next one actually. Okay. I'm still thinking about uh if I wanna do it as as a complete hand build or I want to use power tools. Oh. Okay. If you forget how of your setting, then uh, that is what that is what ha is happening. Uh, set the lamp up. Um, clicked it on, and then I clicked it out on the ceiling. So um, yeah, and I forgot to turn it back on. Great. And here would be my uh, actual wood or my uh, hand drill. Actual wood drill. Oh, that's that's my hand drill. I mean, three cameras are three cameras, and if you set them not all up the same, uh, it will look different. Okay. Yeah. Don't know why, but I had a manual mode then for some for a shoot like this where I move around and stuff. So uh, not too good. So um, yeah, maybe out of focus. <laughs> Damn, that's something. But yeah. Uh, I mean that was a I had a quick setup. I, I planned to do this a while now, but then motivation and work struck and couldn't do as I please. So, um, okay, right. Now for the board. The thing with the board is I would have to set it up like this. I kind of want to use these mounts. So I have two options. Either I'm getting different screws and using these mounts like this. Then I would have it either hanging or I would have to use it like this and put my camera gear on here. Could do both. So I could, could use this one. Could use, use it hanging. But my plan was on using it this way with these underneath. So something like that. The thing is, for that I uh, would have to either screw in to the board itself with uh, some wood screws. Or what I thought about is drilling these out from the other side because naturally they don't go through using these. And for that. I need metal drills. Six is slightly too big. That's actually good because then I can drill from here, pilot hole, go from the other side, drill it out, and don't ruin the threads because that's way more accurate. I mean, if you do that, that's not gonna go as planned, but uh, if you set it up right, then you should be able to drill quite straight through it. Actually, wood underneath. Yes. Please. 
Right, next step is uh, to counter drill these so I can fit the screw from this direction. Something seems, oh yeah, wrong. Not only I'm holding the tool wrong, something else seems to be kind of cooked, to be honest. Of all, I think uh, one should be enough. Main reason for these screws is just to hold it to my bracket and the bracket is holding it to the wall and the bracket is sturdy enough. So I'm just gonna hope that one of these is going through and works and uh, with that we should be set. like as if this one actually did hit. Okay. Oh um so I'm gluing it up for two reasons. Um first to generally make it a little bit more clean and second to stop uh stupid as glass fiber to go in the air because that's not too healthy all right the thing is I still have to mark where my supports are going that I'm just gonna set them up hopefully somewhat straight take a sharp pencil Oh. I finished screwing and gluing up my corner pieces, put it in uh, the baking part of our oven so it was nicely heated so everything that would live in there or has lived in there is now cooked and as you can see I have something new laying around that's a uh, old clothing rack I will use it to get these hooks on it and then hang some equipment there but for that I have to drill the fitting holes in here and um, then put it all together and hang it on the wall because that's the last thing I want to do before I finish it up. Yeah, I ran into a small problem. I was test fitting the screws and they uh, didn't fit as well. So I just have to kind of get the screw to go through all the way in the hopes that the screw is harder than the goddamn insert so that I can screw that through without damaging the screw too much. A little bit risky for the screws but the thing is the screws are already a little bit too long so so it seems like I should have well been a little bit more careful because uh, the screw is now turning again or the, the insert is turning again and I'm now gonna try to use this nut on the other side to get a little bit of pressure on this insert so that I may be able to uh, screw further because I don't want to screw it um, apart again if it ever is getting off the wall 
it will be going in the bin. So let's try that. And if not, then it's just loose and I have it to hang it so, but that shouldn't be a problem. So uh, yeah, it seems like it will stay in this state um, because I kind of have the feeling that the screw is not turning on one end, but on the other. So yeah, that's not a good sign. That's all, all right in the end because um, I don't really need to cut up these screws. I mean, the only thing left is to well, clean it a little bit up and uh, then hang it on the wall and then use it for my camera gear. So enjoy the pictures of the finished product. Yeah, I hope you find the idea interesting and maybe you can make it better than I did because yeah, I started without a plan just with the idea. I could make it better on the next try, but well, it is what it is. So yeah, it works. That's all it needs to do. And since it's broken anyways, there is no need for it to be perfect.